Hi, this is King of Review. If the sum of all of the elements in the inverse of 1 over k times a is equal to negative 30, find the value of the real number k, and we're given the matrix A here. So we have 1 over k times a, and we're taking the inverse of this. So this is equal to 1 over k to the power of negative 1 times a to the power of negative 1. So 1 over k to the power of negative 1, this equals k. And then we have times a inverse. So this is equal to k times the inverse of a. And we're given a. We have 3, negative 1, 7, and negative 2. So how do we find the inverse? Well, let's say that matrix A is A, B, C, and D. Then the inverse of A is 1 over the determinant. The determinant is the product of the entries on the main diagonal, A, D, minus the product of the entries on the other diagonal, which is C, B. So we have 1 over the determinant times the matrix. Now A and D will switch places. So we have a D up here and an A down here. And then we'll take negative B and negative C. So this is how we find the inverse. Let's apply that here. So we have equals K times. So we have 1 over the determinant. We're going to take the product of this diagonal. So 3 times negative 2 minus the product of the entries in the other diagonal. So 7 times a negative 1. And now to set up the matrix. The negative 2 and 3 will switch places. So we have a negative 2 up here and a 3 down here. And then we'll take the negative of the other entries. So negative 1 becomes 1 and 7 becomes negative 7. So now we have k times, so let's figure out this determinant here. When we work this out, we get negative 6 minus a negative 7 for the denominator. That equals 1. So we have 1 over 1, which is just 1. So this whole term here becomes 1. And that's times this matrix here. Negative 2, 1, negative 7, and 3. So now we know that A inverse here is equal to negative 2, 1, negative 7, 3. That's what we found out here. And so we have K times negative 2, 1, negative 7, 3. And now what we want to do is add up all of the values here. So negative 2 plus 1 plus a negative 7 plus 3. We're going to add those up and multiply it by k, and that equals negative 30 because we were given that value here. So when we add these up, we get negative 5 times k equals negative 30. And if you divide by negative 5 on both sides, you get k is equal to 6. So 6 is the final answer. Thanks for watching.